with AJ Black. Hey, Coach. How's it going? Great, great. Uh, earlier this summer, Jalen Gill talked about how he would take any role in the offense to to help the team. What do you see as his role, and how is he adjusting to your your scheme and your offense? You know what? First off, all the perimeter players, we're going to make sure we put them in a position to be successful. The system's built that way. So the guys get to learn the concepts and where they fit within them, uh, not just Jalen, but all the perimeter guys, whether they're wide receivers, tight ends, running backs. Thank you. We'll go next to Julian. Hey, Coach Howard. Good morning. Good. How you doing, Julian? Live and kicking. Can't complain. Um, I think two things I'm curious about. Are, um, one, what's it like trying to install an offense, one, in your first season, but two, under these circumstances? Uh, and, and how have you kind of adjusted and sort of tweaked things to do that? And then two, uh, around D.C., they're used to seeing uh, pro-style power football, and I was wondering how your kind of philosophies lined up with that, how you incorporated if that's a belief of yours as well. And, or, or if you got some new rings. So yeah, let's, let's talk about installing offense. You know, Coach Hafley's put together a really good offensive staff, not only myself, but when you look at the staff we've hired, you have guys that have been offensive coordinators uh, in college football. We work well together. Um, we did have five spring practices, which, which that was invaluable. And then, you know, the Zoom meetings we had uh, when guys were at home, were outstanding. You know, the players and the coaches did a great job teaching the system. And then, uh, you know, the work we had in training camp so far has been invaluable. We don't ever want to lose the physicality of being able to play power football, but we also want to be able to play wide open and put guys in a position to be successful. We'll go next to Andy Backstrom. Hi, Coach. When you were the Rams back in 2015, you really got the most out of a guy like Tavon Austin. How do you maximize the talent of a dynamic wideout like a Zay Flowers or a Jalen Gill? Well, you know, you look at your players because you think players first, not plays. And then you got to make sure you design touches for them, you know, whether it's in the running game, the passing game. Um, so, so when you look at all our perimeter players, and when I say perimeter players, I include the running backs, the tight ends, the wide receivers. We got to make sure we do a good job building a system where they all get their touches and they get a chance to make plays like we did with Tavon in St. Louis. Any other questions for Frank? We will go back to Andy. A lot has been talked about David Bailey kind of succeeding AJ Dillon in the run game. What have you seen from him through the passing game too? What have you seen with his hands? How has he done catching the ball out of the backfield? Well, you know, David's a good football player in all three phases. Obviously, run the ball, pass protection, and in the passing game. David's got very good hands. Uh, he's smart. He's tough. He's tough to bring down. So, you know, David's a, a very good football player in all three phases. He's done a great job out there in the passing game. We'll go next to Julian. Phil's talked a lot about kind of how you and uh, Jeff – his relationship with you guys was a, was a big part of him sort of swinging his decision to come in. Uh, describe sort of what you've been able to kind of develop with in terms of relationship with him and what, what you guys talk about. With Coach Halfley or with Phil? Phil. Well, I tell you, you know, Phil's a great kid, you know. Uh, like all of our – I am so impressed with our players. Uh, we got great players here. So it probably starts at home. and probably had great parents, great, great players, high character. Um, Phil happens to be from Pittsburgh, where I'm from. Um, you know, just interaction, because as a coach, it's so important that you build trusting relationships. You do that through open, honest communication. Uh, it starts in the classroom, take it to the field, and then the free time we have with each other. So, you know, my relationship with Phil, uh, um, I hope, is the same with all the quarterbacks and the players on this team. We'll go next to AJ. Hello well, again. Um, yesterday, or actually on Monday, Coach Halfley talked about the quarterback room and how impressed he's been with the play of the quarterbacks. What have you seen out of the quarterbacks? What has stood out for you in terms of how they've been playing and the way that they progressed this summer? I tell you, what a great group of guys. You know, once again, uh, they're great students of the game. They take it from the classroom to the field. I am so impressed 
with the leadership of those guys in the classroom. Take myself out of it. They, they, they own that room. You know, I see the, uh, the leadership of uh, Dennis, how it's trickling down to all the other guys. It's a great group. They work well together. They have fun together. They communicate well on and off the field. I mean, it's a privilege to, to have this quarterback room. Every day, they get better on the field. And it's great to see. I mean, it is so awesome to see these guys every day making progress. And we'll take our last question with Andy Baxter. One thing the quarterback said when we were talking to them is they said that you're always thinking about the game, whether it's adding a new play or, you know, if something comes to your mind immediately and, and you say something to the guys. Is that the way you've always gone about football, just constantly thinking about a new play or a new design to add to the scheme? Well, you know, football can be very consuming, whether it's fundamentals and technique or the scheme part. Um, I, I've been very blessed uh, to be around great coaches. So you're always kind of looking at how, how can we attack a defense? How can we put our players in a position to be successful? And how can we run the same plays different ways? And yeah, it's fun. We have a lot of fun in the, in the QB room. Great. Frank, thank you for your time today. We appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you.